hakuna mse mwenye alikuwa anatupenda everywhere nikienda hata ningia kwa plot tuko tunaenda tunafukuzwa tukitoa machokora unachapoka mob justice na wewe ni mtoi unaona then our mom she was never there for us most of the time ulikuwa unapata sometimes anaweza tuacha hata ka 3 months eh huh? ama one month ajatoe chi hard food mali tumeacha ni kama ka kiosk ka kibanda so unapata tunapewa baka food na majirani it was very very hard for us and the day nilikuja nga ku meet a certain guy before three days niliona nga vision ya huyo mse the guy was in cult kwanzi hapo na hapo mimi nikaanza kuota ndoto zingine fani fani na ota manyoka nyoka imetokea tu from nowhere na ona tu ndio ina kuja kuniuma na mka kama nimestuka na shindo ai what is happening Niki, nikipiga magoti kama nataka kuomba ananizuia nisiombe anambia don't pray it's just a dream it was just a bad dream my name is Esther Mokani aka Golden Girl mimi mba mziki za gospel za kumsifu god so nimezaliwa mtaa ya Park Road um pale ngara na uh, tulikuwa tunaishitwa Park Road hapo ngara hapo tuko mosque so i was born in a family of 11 i'm the seventh born and for that matter nilikuwa nimezaliwa na familia ya mama ambaye ni single mother So life was very hard because she was not stable. She was not working. Na we were going through a lot. Tulikuwa tuna starve sana, tulikuwa tunateseka. Because you can imagine you can imagine wale watu wenye wanaishi pale katika hizo hiyo mtaa eh, Park Road na Ngara ni watu ambao wako na do. Unapata ni Wahindi, wa Somalia, unaona? Uh, na sisi hata shule tunaenda hadi migutupu. Unaenda shule hata siku mbili hujakula na so iko raisi so mimi ndio nilikuwa nimebaki home uh, ma bro wangu wao wengine huyo bro yangu mwingine mwenye alifuata ni boy na huyo mwingine mwenye anafuata huyo pia ni boy so mimi ndio nilikuwa dem sawa alikuwa amepelekwa kwa rescue dada kwa kwa rescue school uh, orphanage so alikuwa anasomea huko side za park road i mean um, mlango kubwa alikuwa anasomea side za mlango kubwa so mimi ndio nilikuwa nimebaki kama kubwa pale so nilikuwa na watu wetu wana staff ona teseka so ile kuna ni happen ya most of the time najipata nikienda sadari sio kama unajua sadari hiyo ambayo iko hapo hivi ya um, ya mosque ni place ambayo wa india ama ni ni waislamu muslim walikuwa wanaenda kufanya harusi huko so napata naenda hata kama ni usiku nenda na beba pilau na beba food nenda napelekea watoi so ilikuwa so hard cuz tulikuwa tunatitiwa kama machokora hiyo area hakuna hmm? msemo ni alikuwa anatupenda everywhere nikienda hata ningia kwa plot kwa nenda tunafukuzwa tukitoa machokora tukiingia kwa plot for example kama kuna mtu unataka kwa plot fulani ukiingia umuulize watu wanaanza kusema hii hao watu hii wataiba vitu zenu wataiba kama viatu wataiba kama nguo but kuiba iko our thing hata hiyo time tukiwa dogo mimi stay za kitu ya mtu but um, population yetu tulikuwa tunaishi walikuwa wanatuchukia that time environment yetu tulikuwa tunaishi walikuwa naona tu because tunaka tu ku struggle then our mom she was never there for us most of the time ulikuwa unapata sometimes anaweza tuacha hata ka 3 months eh? ama one month ajatoe chi hard food mali tumeacha ni kama ka kiosk ka kibanda so unapata tunapewa baka food na majirani it was very very hard for us so mimi nilika sana kwa hiyo life shule ukienda hiyo time tu kanjo zilikuwa zinalipo nilikuwa nasomea saint Bridget iko hapo Starehe Boys Primary ukienda shule unaenda una hata food ujakula pengine hata jana so you are still unasikia baka body na shake you can't even concentrate with the education then ukifika unafukuzwa school fees tena una, unarudi unachukua mzazi unarudi na yeye shule bado unafukuzwa tena unaona so ilikuwa the most hardest time ever mimi ni go through kwa life cuz ilifika mali baka nikaamua sasa hiyo shule mimi sitaki tena Uh, nikiwa around class 5 because hakuna vile unaendelea kusoma unasema hata hiyo amebeba makuku amebeba bajia amebeba chipo but wewe mwenyewe hujakula like for two days unaona na wewe ni mtoi then unapata shule hata venye tu unaenda tu unaenda tu kwa mchafu na yani unakatuka chokora and at the same time my mom bado sida alikuwa anaendelea kupata watu wengine so na still bado sisi yako anatuweza so life ilikuwa inaendelea tu kuwa more harder more hard more hard more hard over and over. So mimi vile nilifika class 5 nikienda kwa approach class 6. Mimi nilifika mali nikasema this is enough. Hata si mara ya kwanza nilikuwa naenda nilikuwa naenda hadi nikienda kwa plot for instance nataka dem flani anishuke. 
nikiingia kwa plot inaitwa mwizi wa sasa wananifuata wananichapa unaona unachapoka mob justice na wewe ni mtoi unaona so that was the hardest time i ever went through especially when i was a child then mimi nika decide wacha nitoke so nilitoka tukachukua la dem flan alikuwa anaita ngomeri alikuwa mborana so tukaenda bahati mzuri kuna mama flani alikuwa msomalia wapo tu hapo within your area park road alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa hotel flani ilikuwa inaitwa usalama hotel by that time hapo dhuri avenue so huyo madam alijua na naye huyo meri meri pia alikuwa ni mtoto bado confused but she was old she was very old she was more than 20 years so akanichukua akaniambia tutafuta tuta tuta job hapo tukaenda tukatafuta job but before tutaenda tutafuta job kwanza venye ni deciding kutoka home nitoka nga nikaenda kama sijui ninaenda wapi nikamwa siezi ka huko so nikaenda nika meet na de flani alikuwa anaita ngwesta alikuwa anga mkamba alikuwa anakaa pangani shopping center so hiyo dema uh, akani accommodate kwake nikaanza kuishi kwake nikiishi kwake alikuwa yeye anafanya kazi kwa kakibanda kingine ka hoteli kadogo so tulikuwa tunaenda tunakula hapo tunarudi tunadala hapo ikafika mali i don't know what happened nakataka ni kama nataka kuniuza kwa wanaume nataka ni kama ananipiana ni kama alikuwa anapewa do ananipiana there was a time alikuwa amenipiana anga nikapeleka ngo hizi side za hurumana na huko place hata siwezi kumbuka place tulikuwa so far lakini kufika hapo hivi huyo tadi akaanza kunivuruta ningie kwa nyumba nikakataa nikakatalia kwa mlango akanambia unajua ni shape ana do zako na kuna ile kitu yenye pia ulikuwa ukujia huku bado hata sija kupia njia nikupatia nikamwambia kama kuna kitu yote yenye mlikuwa amenambia na kujia unipatilia nikiwapa kwa mlango so nika resist kabisa kuingia jamaa naye akajaribu kunivuruta lakini sasa unajua hiyo plot ilikuwa na maana ibaz hakuna reaction serious angechukua So what I did mean ni move hapo nikaenda sina hata bob kwa mfuko nilitembea all the way from huko na ilikuwa place very far nenda nikiulizia we ya kutokea tu at kwa hiyo barabara yenye ya isili hapo yenye za direct pangani then nikapata na madha moja mukorino we madha nikamuelezea what I've gone through we mama kaniambia akaniuliza kabisa because I told her that is my sister Siku nataka kumwambia sina place ya kuishi so nilienda kwa huyo dem nikaenda kuomba mahali pa kukaa. So nikamwambia I'm living with my sister and it's mapa na mwanaume mimi hata sina fear sina mean sina nini. I can remember that time huyo mama aliniangalia tu hivi akaniambia wewe msichana uko na shida mingi sana. So niambia what is happening. Then mean mimi sikuwa free kumwambia what I was going through because I was still scared to uh, to associate so much with people. I was afraid maybe she might also take advantage of my situation. So I did not tell her. So nikatoka, nikatembea, haku nipea hata bob. Jua alijaribu ku insist ni mu explain you what I'm going through nikakata. Nikatembea very far. Nilikuwa natembea nikumbuka hiyo time kuna ingo ma ilikuwa ina ilikuwa imetokea anga ilikuwa inasema anga I believe I can fly. That time hiyo ngoma nilikuwa nandikiimba kwa barabara na sema mimi mtoi nikisema I believe I can fly. So nilikuwa natembea nikiambia God God I know utanifikisha mpaka kwenye naenda. So when I went there when I went back to her house kufika huko hako nataka sasa kuniona she told me to go away that time I, do, I didn't have a choice I went back to my mom place wakati nilienda hapo then um ndio sana nikamitua de manaito Mary after that yo de makanipeleka hiyo place tukona tukaanza kufanya job na yeye kwenye job night kwanza kutoka kombongeni na yeye hao lakini yeye sasa do zake yako anataka kulipa hao ni kama pia alikuwa anataka kunitumia do yote mimi ndo nilikuwa nalipakeja nalipa hao nafanya kila kitu kwa hiyo nyumba nikiosha kama ni vyombo yeye ikafika mali baka hataki kufanya job yeye anataka kushinda tu kwa nikiosha kama ni vyombo ni kama ni piche nitapata washatumia vyombo zote fude ndio nilikuwa nimebai yote washakula wamewachanisha na vyombo hapo zote ni chafu nikam tena niosha na kama naocha tena jioni na nimechoka then narudi na mkia tena job kesho mimi nikafika mali nikaona huyu demo ananitumia hapo ndio nilianza kujipanga nikanunua mattress nikanunua bed nikaenda nikatafuta hao nikaenda all the way back a 44 nikatafuta nga hao nilipata nga ka single room ka 1600 odhuka dukwa karibu na barabara so nikakomboa by the way mimi hata kama nime go through a lot god amekuwa saidi yangu cause hiyo time nilikuwa naingia kwa hotel napata tu niko na fever ya god nikiingia hapo tu ni sabu msi hata kama nimemserve chai unapata tu mtu ananiita my daughter my daughter na kumka kuna mse mmoja nilipatia anga za utano za utano tu just like that akaniambia shika hii za utano msichana naona wewe ni msichana mdogo sana uende ujisimamie uko na wazazi nikamwambia yeye mie ma daughter of a single mother kaniza kwani mko wangapi so i was telling him a bit of our story our life story 
Then akarembea usijali Mungu atakuja kukusaidia siku moja. The guy gave me 5k. Na akaenda I never saw the guy again. So mimi nikaenda nikalipa hao hiyo hiyo 5k hiyo ndio nilipanga nayo hao na hiyo bado ndio ilinisaidia kuhama kutoka Isili nikaenda hadi 44. So fanya nilianaanga 44 life ndio hiyo imeanza. Pole 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 ndio mimi huyo nikapata nanga na Chali my first boyfriend. Wao Chali alikuwa anaita Ngo Patrick. So tukaanza kudate tulikuwa tunaishi na April moja. Tukaanza kudate on and off on and alikuwa Miru alikuwa very arrogant na violent mbaya sana. Then sasa tukaendelea 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 hivyo nikajipata niko na ball. Kujipata niko na ball sasa zile madhara huyo mse kwanza alikuwa nazo acha tu. Back in 2002 I remember I did lose my sister. She was my best friend. I can never forget her because she was always there for me. Na alikuwa mkubwa wangu because she was the fourth born in our family. So when ya di pass, na kumbuka baka yo time, ya li kujanga, imaji ya nakamu kwa matanga na demu ingine. Ha? Nakamu kunionesha live kwa matanga. Ati ya shamu uvon. Ha? So, misi kumind, kuzi hata nilikuwa na bolu na ilikuwa one month, nika njibuza sa nita ina kufanya abosho na manita fanya nini. I just decided to give birth. So, nika patanga mtoi. But so the time in it, uh, boli yangu with the mo ilikuwa inende like it grow. Uh, tunia mwa kusetol, tuka ina ye. Nika saa hotu na the past na tuka mwa kukana ye. Nika tulianza kuishi na ye, life hata ndio ilikuwa hard sana. Because the mali kuwa nafanya job, nye misi kwa job. So, yon ilikuwa, job ya huko ilikuwa isha aisha, yon place ilikuwa inafanya renovation. Ilikuwa, ilikuwa imeisha for some time back. So, nilikuwa tu na hustle, hustle tu. So, msi anenda na dipo, do, akilipo mchara, ya kazi yake anenja kwa ba. Anabaya tu watu wote ba. Watu wote kwa ba tei. Ni tei, tei, tei. Ata kuja kwa hao bila do. Ata nunuwa chakula, ata di parenta, kuna kituote atafanya. So, mili li decide wacha ni hame. Na ye madhea likuwa chato kwa park road. Yo plus likuwa tunaka. So, madhea pia likuwa mekuja 44, ni karudingi kwa madha. Nili kabe bangatu staff zangu, wakuna kituwa kia niliguza hata moja, ni kainangahadi kwa madha. Kuenda kwa madha, ni kainia, ni kakaa, ni kakaa, ni kakaa. Mtoi sasa siya likuwa mdogo kabisa. So, I was just wondering what next. Nitafanya nini? Ha? Nitoke kwa yu stress. Then, all of a sudden, nika kulingana na situation, mali life ilikuwa menifikisha, nilifika mali, nika wana hapa siwezi survive. Then, kuna mademo wa likuwa nenanga ma outing yu time. So, mademo ngido wakana ambia, ay, wede msupu hivu nini na kustress. Eh? Si uka mtu kupeleke tau. So, mi nika enanga tau. Kwa enanga tau na ego dalikuwa saidi yangu. Nilifika ngatu hivika ni mepata mzungu. Uyo mzungu waka nipenda sana. Waka nirudisha shule. Waka nipeleka hadi Nairobi campus. Nika soma soma, nika soma soma, nika soma soma. Iyo time. Alafu sasa waka enanga waka dedi. Ata wakuka sana. Alikufanga 205. So, at least neza sema ali nituanga step moja hadi kwa step wingine. So, God na yaka nisaidia. Sasa nika weza kujisimamisha. Hapo hivisa nileza kujisimamisha. God waka ni bless, nika by land, nika weza kujenga. Unaona. Sani kiba tu wa hapo, sani nikuwa naomba. Na first, nikuwa na first sana. I was even giving myself even seven days. Bila ata kukunywa maji ya mata kukula. Na ambia God, I want you to give me the love of my life. Nipatia hazi. Mnye tuta kuja kuhishi na ye. Because mi sikuwa, sikuwa na fraye hile life ya madhe. Unaona? Hile life ya madhe ya napata watu wa ina watu. Wata siwa nyata atujumi mabuda zetu ni ya kila nani. Unaona? That life was so hard. Mi sikuwa, iku ina nipeneza na iku ina nifraisha. So mi nikuwa naka nikuwe na familia yangu. Nikuwe na mbona tutaishi na ye, mtu at least tutapata na ye watoi, na tuweza kugrupa moja. So niliomba, imagine nite prayer, iyo prayer for seven years. And the day nilikujanga kumit a certain guy. Before three days nilionanga vision ya uyo mse. Kuenanga, kuna dem flani ya likuwa nga deiba, likuwa na nini, alikuwa na welding. Haka niitanga that night, haka niambia kama tuende out leo. Tuka toka nga tuka inanga out. So kuenda out ni onge nanga nika meet, uyo mse tutukipaku tu gari ya po. Nika pata nanga da uyo mse. Nyeta siku wana kumuka kama nilikuwa nime muwana kwa vision. So hile place nilikuwa tunenda kuhanga utapo hivi kuna tubaya satu ingi. Uh, but mi sikuwa nakunyua. Iyo time nilikuwa nime yokoka nime stick kwa salvation kabisa. Iyo time sikuwa nakunyua ta. That is why nilikuwa nijikomit uh, na prayers na nijikomit kwa fasting. So I was not drinking but I was hanging out. Kwa hang out nilikuwa na hang out na mabeshte. Pia uyo jojina siyo mtu alikuwa napenda pombe sana. Ni mtu ambaye pengine ata kikunyo, you can never notice because anakunyo kama kachipaka moja hivyo. Hakuwa mtu wa alcohol sana. So mi nikaendelea, tukafika tuka ile place, kufika ile place, uh, uyo msea kakujanga, vanya nilimsalimianga, hata mindo nilimsalimia. Jualikuwa karibu wa gongo na gari, kambia, hey, watch out, ta gongo na gari, kilu delivers. 
si tukaingianga tukaenda kwa club kwenda aliniona kaka makakamba nilikuwa tukaanza kupiga story si tukamaliza outing zetu tukaenda nga home tukamwachanga huko kushianga home huo msani nilimpatia nga namba msani akaanza kunitafuta na simu alikuwa anga Nigeria alikuwa anaita ngo John so tukwa meeting na huyo Nigeria after kitu like few days tukwa meet na place nyingine aliniitanga tukaendelea hivyo tukaendelea hivyo nikama tuna date then eventually nikakujanga siku moja ku realize he's the same same guy mwenye alikuwa ni mwananga kwa vision so the guy was so nice alikuwa na ni treat poa na una hey this is the right guy that i like to spend my life with jamani alikuwa ananipia kama ni do ha jamani ananipeleka out he was so caring like everything na mwambia na una we in good terms tunaongea vizuri tuna communicate poa hatuna arguments hatuna nini so i just thought this is the right guy for me So hiyo time nilikuwa nishajenga hiyo place na nilikuwa na nini hiyo place hiyo land nilikuwa nimebuy nilikuwa na house ya nilikuwa na house ya three three bedroom house So alikujanga aka, kwangu aka visit akaona ni place poa akakuja akakuja aka, aka na manguo in fact alikuja na manguo akaanza kuishi mimi nikasema no issue no big deal at the end of the day si nyumba ni kwa peke yangu na ni kwangu So tukakaa na yeye but after kukaa na that where that is where sasa nilikuja kujua wa kumbe nimejiingiza kwa moto si kwa nadhania kama najiingiza kwa nguri nilikujanga kuona kumbe nimejiingiza kwa moto kabisa 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 cause the guy was in cult alikuwa in cult na mimi sikuwa najua so nakumbuka kama kuna siku moja venye tu alikujanga kwa hao hivi kuanzia hapo na hapo mimi nikaanza kuota ndoto zingine fani fani na ota manyoka nyoka imetokea tu from nowhere naona tu ndio hii inakuja kuniuma na mka kama nimeestuka na shindo ai what is happening Niki, nikipiga magoti kama nataka kuomba ananizuia nisiombe anambia don't pray it's just a dream it was just a bad dream na mwambie why are you saying it was a bad dream why i never got in these dreams before i met you so i never ask myself why i never got in the dreams before i met him so i was like ama to put so me to someone is trying to attack us ama something is wrong somewhere but sikuona na kama problem inaweza kuwa kwa side yake So uh, it was very very hard for me even hata kulala kwa nyumba. Singe lala kwa hiyo nyumba na ni nyumba yangu imagine. Unatoka tu unakuja unalala kwa compound. Jukiingia kwa nyumba zina manyoka zitakunyonga kwa hiyo nyumba. Unapata nyoka baka iko na three head. But si eti nyoka unaona hivi ni you are saying it spiritually. You can't sleep. Ukikuja tu kulala hivi unaona tu umetokea kwa wall. Ndio inakuja kukuuma. Everything was miserable that time. Pesa ilikuwa mob. Unapata hata ananipia hadi hata 50k within a week ananiambia hizo ni zako nunua makeups nunua marudhi nunua nini so mimi sikuwa na issue ati za pesa juu ninakumbuka that time nilichinjingi furniture zote za nyumba hiyo uh, time bado nika save save do nikajanga janga kwenye kulikuwa kumebaki na pia bado nilikuwa na savings zangu but now nilikuwa in a very big pressure to a point where by sibezi had only situation na the only thing u jamaa alikuwa anajaribu kunionyesha if you are getting stressed kulala na nini you should be drinking kunywa kunywa so nikaanza nga kukunywa hapo ndio nisa nikaanza nga saa kurudia pombe jusa kama siko mlevi sipati usingizi nikiwa soba na shinda tu kila saa tu nikinyongwa nikipatana na evil spirits so i thought let me be drinking so nilikuwa naenda kwa wine and spirit hapo nachukua car price na kuja naika kwa hauna box na kunywa na kunywa na kunywa sasa nikaendelea hivyo kukunywa nikaendelea hivyo kukunywa but sasa life yangu instead of hata ipombe nisaidie niliendelea sasa kukuwa more stressful I remember uh, there was a time hata kama ninakunywa hivyo I said no this is not the life I wanted to live. Na nikasema this is not my life. This is the work the work of the devil. So I gave myself time and I started to fast again. Nikaanza kurudia maombi. Nikaoma nikaoma that time hata nilitorokanga nikaenda kwa mlima. Zile place tulikuwa tunaenda kufanyia fasting. So I went and stayed there for three days. Nikaanza kuomba nikaambia God God what I want you to do I want to go to change my life nyondole hizi maroho ambazo zinanikimbiza the spirit of alcohol God nyondole me sio life yangu mis, destination yangu sio hiyo So while I was praying that time kuna kitu God alikuwa ananirivilia God alikuwa ananionyesha kwangu kuna moto Nilikuwa na tu kuna moto something is burning in my house where I never knew what was burning actually but something was wrong So mi singekuwa na ile confidence ya kufukuza huu mse. Singekuwa na hiyo confidence ya kumfukuza in the first place. Cuz already nilikuwa naona mimi nampenda na nilimwona yeye mimi nimeshaolewa sana nimepata msempoa. So unajua hiyo ni after even 3 years tumeenda 4 years, 5 years, 6 years. Huh? So the guy 
alijaribu sana kuniattack na hizo majini. Alafu every time namwambia, why do you Nigerians like to use? Mbona mnapenda hizi story za map, hizo powers hivi? It is our culture. You can't do anything about it. This is our culture. This is us. Huh? Mtu anakupigia story anakwambia if you come to our village, I even got scared kwenda kumvisit. Huwezi enda kumvisit. If you come to my village, eh, you will find every house has an altar. Huh? Where we go and pour out the blood. So me I was like god this is not my life how will i be able to live with this guy nitakaje na yeye na life ka in a story kama hizo nyananiambia so mimi nilikuwa na katu nikiambia to god god save me save me from this guy and the guy sasa akaanza kunipeleka ngout i remember sasa mali aliona kabisa juu mimi nilikuwa mwana Mungu kabisa mali aliona kabisa hata niweza the guy alijaribu sasa kuniua physically alijaribu alijaribu kuniua kiroho akaona haiwezi work alijaribu sasa kuniua physically I can remember there was a time mtoto wangu alikuwa boarding school. Mtoto wangu akakujanga after a very long time mtoto wangu akakuwa amekuja. So the time nyenye mtoto yeye kama nikasema hebu nifanye bash juu mtoto yeye amekaa nikaitanga ma neighbors nikadunuanga tei nikadunuanga kuku nikadunuanga hadi nyama nini nikapika food ilikuwa poa sana. Watu wakakaa msa tumeka ngoma tuna dance tuna dance. Imagine nyumba imeja tiles kila mahali. Na funny enough me I don't know where nyoka ilitoka anga wapi. Nyoka ilikujanga direct kwa mtoo hii nataka kuma mtoto wangu. Mtoo hii akafeel kitu hata mtoo yeye alikuwa anacheza anacheza na game, alikuwa anacheza game kwa simu yangu. Mtoo yeye akafeel kitu imemguza akaondoa miguu akaekelea juu ya meza. Then kuna jamaa mmoja hapo hivi akasema zimeni hiyo ngoma. Tukazima ngoma, kuzima ngoma tunamuliza nini? Huku kumeingia nyoka na ilikuwa imeenda direct kuma mtoto. Mtoto amefeel kitu akaondoa miguu kwa meza akaekelea juu ya nini? Akaondoa aka miguu hapo chini akaekelea juu ya meza. Sasa so, tukaenda nikamwambia wewe ni mulevi wewe ni kulewa umelewa nyoka inaweza ingia place kona kelele hivi place kona mimi sitawahi sahau na hiyo time that was the hardest time yenye mimi niliamini yenyewe kumbe kuna kuanga na majini that was the hardest time cuz enye tulitoa kiti tukapata nyoka tuka manage kuyua venye tumeyua nikampigia simu yake akukua nikamwambia imagine tumepata nyoka nyoka ime come from nowhere ikaingia kwa nyumba na ilikuwa nataka kuma mtoto akana me what the snake got in the house yes the snake got in the house we were just all surprised wondering where did the snake came from uh, before ni hanye huko hiyo place hata ikuwa na watu wengi sana but sa ile population isha grow sa ndio na nyoka i was very surprised so ku manage kuyua tukaitwa anga hapo nje hapo nje nilikuwa nimepanda ngamiwa miwa zilikuwa anga mob sana so nikatonga zile manini za miwa zenye zimekauka na makuni zingine nikakatakata hapo hivi nikawasha moto kuwasha moto nikachoma ile nyoka nyoka unajua ukiichoma unga ina decoil we na decoil hivi kama kama mosquito coil so yen yeah, alikuwa amenembea na kam nikasikia ame knock gate akasema open this gate nilikuwa na ufunguo just imagine from up a distance of like 10 meters hmm, maybe 10 meters kutoka hapa ufungue gate hapo kwenda kufungua gate nikuja nimeonesha nyoka na iko juu ya iko kwa moto ime decoil hivi kama mosquito coil kumfungulia akuja na mwambia look at the snake where did the snake come from anembea where is the snake kuangalia snake haiko Aiko ai na moto inawaka. Na ambi the snake was right here. It was right here and I burnt it. It was even black. And it unajua ilikuwa inaka ilikuwa inaka kama python ilikuwa inaka goldish somehow. Na ambi it was here and you are lying to me where is it? Najiuliza ni paka imekuja ikaingia kwa moto ikatoa ile nyoka ama nyoka imeenda. Hmm? Just within a blink of an eye nyoka ime disappear na ime disappear na ika disappear hivyo na ika disappear hivyo mpaka wa leo. Hiyo nyoka ilishanga hivyo. So huyu jamaa alijaribu sana 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 kuniattack. Ilifika tu a point uh, jumi na mimi nilizama sana kwa maombi hata kama nilikuwa na struggle na nasafa kiroho. Alafu najua mtani watu walikuwa na admire. Wanatuangalia wana wanaona tumevaa poa. Do iko ukiingia place bako unaambia watu pewa pewa pewa. Sasa watu wanaona eh ile life si ni poa. Kila mtu anaambia you are very lucky eh. Najua uko na bahati sana kwa namseka huyu. Na mimi mwenye ananiambia ati niko na bahati mimi na wish tu venye nitaondokea hii situation hata kama kuna pesa na jiliza venye nitaondokea hiyo ndoa. Mimi nilikuwa natamani tu ni tuachane na huyo mse kabisa. Nilikuwa natamani tu aniondokee tu kwa life yangu. So ilikuwa imefika mali nimeweka mangunia hapo nje kwa compound. Nikikaa na kunya na dalala kwa mangunia. Siwezi ingia kwa nyumba because nikiingia kwa nyumba I know I will not be safe. So ni wana kama nalala hapo nje kwa mangunia. Na kama nalala hapo nje kwa mangunia. Ikafika tu a point nikaona hapa na hii ni maisha gani? Haya sasa mali pali kujanga mimi kuniudhi na nikaona kabisa these guys just after something ni wakati huo jamaa ali confess kwangu akaniambia he's ready he's ready 
to give all that he has for him to get rich. Even his own blood. Even his own blood. Akotayari yeye kutoata damu yake. Ili atajirike. And that was the time yenye nilikuja nika realize. Hey, this guy ataenda hivyo ataniua. Na kumbuka kuna time ingine kulikuwa tumenanga kukunywa. Kurudi na kwa compound yangu kuna mawe nilikuwa ni mmoja nilikuwa nataka kuinua hiyo nyumba. Alinisukumanga kwa hizo mawe kama siko aware. Nikaanguka nika faint. Then there was a time bado tukiwa kwa nyumba alinitishanga ufunguo nikamwambia ufunguo ziko hapo kwa meza na nilikuwa nimepanda juu ya stool. Akakuja akagonga ile stool. Wewe una imagine stool ya chuma huku chini huku chini ni chuma. Ikigonga na ilikuwa mrefu itaslide baka huko na mimi niko juu. Imagine nitaanguka aje. Eh? bahati mzuri juu nilikuwa nafunga hizo curtains hizo curtains hizo curtains ndishika hivi sasa sikuanguka na kichwa hizo curtains baka zikararuka hmm? that was the second incident the third one and the final yenye kabisa kabisa niliona nao either mimi niondoke ama nikufe nitaimenye imagine tumefanya bash vizuri kwa hao tukapika tulikuwa tumepitanga uh, kuku na tumepika na beef then tukarudi tuka fry mayai kando So mini, the previous day nilikuwa tulikuwa tumekunywa sana. So mimi nikashindwa na kukula. Nikasavu hata nilikuwa na wageni nikasavu kila mtu. Mimi chakula yangu nilikuwa nimeza savu zote kwa bowl. So mimi chakula yangu mimi nikashindwa kukula. Nikaichukua nikaenda nikaiweka kwa fridge. Nikaenda nikalala nikasema hiyo chakula nitaikula kesho. So asubuhi kuamka nilimpata kwa kitchen. Mimi najua sasa sasa hiyo nimeamka niko na njaa sikuwa nimekula kuingia kwa kitchen eh, kuingia kufungua fridge naangalia naona ile bowl nilisave nayo chakula yangu usioni so mimi nikamuuliza ai na kwani where is my food and maybe the food is that on the uh, your food is on the plate there okay, but i did not serve them on the plate i had to wash that bowl nikamuuliza why why wash the bowl and leave the plate you could have left my food mali zilikuwa akaniambia those are your food no problem mimi nikawaom food nikazeka kwa microwave nikawaom vizuri sana nika nikikula tu hivi nasikia mtu zinanikatakata kwa mdomo sijui ni nini na muuliza ni nini kwa hii food what is in this food i don't know sasa na assume juu jana nilikuwa nimewaka sana inaweza kuwa ni hangover zilifanya pengine niweke shelves za mayai ndani ndani ya hii food ndio maana nakataka tona hizo hizo zinaweza kuwa ni shelves ama na muuliza what is this on my food and maybe i don't know na maybe it's the shelves I put yesterday on the food. But I tested this food was not tasting like this. Me I don't know. Naendelea kukula. Naendelea tu kukula na endelea. Imagine achu na chuka kabisa sana kama ni chela kuna kitu zinaweza nifanya. Naendelea tu kukula nikimeza nikimeza nikimeza. Unajua at long last nilipindua anga nikasema hebu niangalie hii mayai kwa ni kupindua hivi nilipata glasses. Zimeja kwa hiyo food. Hmm? Nikamuuliza, "Hey, what is the glasses doing in my food?" Akaniambia, "You have to expect anything in life." Anything can happen. Nikamuzo do you mean anything can happen? Yeah? Anything can happen when you are putting glasses on my food so you want to kill me. Like seriously. Mimi nilitoka tu hapo nikajaribu kutapika. Wapi? Haitoki. Najaribu kufus matapiko, haitoki. So, nikarudi nikakaa. Yeye naye akajitayarisha akatoka akaenda. Nikajiuliza nitafanya nini. Then the thing I thought of doing at that time nikuchukua pesa zilikuwa kwa jukwa ile likunywe so i took some money nikaenda kwa wine and spirit ilikuwa hapo tu just around nikaenda nikaitisha pombe nikaanza kukunywa nilipokuwa ninakunywa so now unajua sasa ile emotional feeling sasa ndio zina kuja zina zina kuattack that time nikaanza kulia nikaanza kulia nikaanza kulia nikajiuliza oh my god ni shida gani nilijiletea kwa life yangu So watu walikuwa wananiuliza hapo why are you crying nini ninakufanya ulie akimokami naambia mimi imagine nimewekewa machupa na John ati John akuwekea machupa kwa chakula kwa nataka kukua just imagine ninamuuliza ni nini machupa zinafanya kwa chakula ananiambia ati anything can happen what does anything means eh huh? anything can happen that guy me try kuniwa mara tatu so now this is the third time ambao sasa kabisa kabisa amedikle lazima nikufe Alafu ananiambia he's ready to give out everything that he has even his own blood hmm? to make sure ati ametajirika So me I decided we end up that relationship and that's how the relationship ended up So I had to chase him away from my home hata akanifanya mpaka hata niondoke hiyo mtaka kabisa 
nikahama hadi huko na nikauza huko nikaondoka because i could not have bared to live there anymore huh? i went through he made me even alifanya hadi nichukie hadi hata hiyo nyumba yangu nikajiuliza hii nyumba recently nimekuwa nikinyongo throughout so continuously bado nitaendelea kunyongo so why should i live here so i had to shift from that house nikaenda nikaanzia life somewhere else tukaachana na yeye hivyo but still mimi naamini god utaenda mambo mob cause najua pia uh, one day nitakuja tuku heal though pia siwezi complain sana size cause god amenipatia ile second chance bado nisharudi ya salvation na najua god anaenda kupeleka na, na mimi until the end yeah i know one day nitakuja nikuwe na happy family na nikuwe na hiyo life yenye mtu amani because mimi najua god provide